Hey y'all, hey, 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 Gangsta Chef Cabrini back in the Gangsta Chef kitchen where I teach you how to fall in love with yourself in your own damn kitchen. We are getting ready to embark upon another year. We are already in the year. This is uh, January 5th, 2022, and I decided that I wanted to do a 30-day challenge with you. 30 days of mind, body, and food. So the mind part, we're gonna do one minute of meditation every day so that at the end of the 30 days, you would have done 30 minutes of meditation with yourself. Now the body part, I want you to move at least 15 minutes a day. If that's walking up and down your block, if that's walking around your neighborhood, if that's walking in your building, up the steps, down the steps, whatever it is, clock 15 minutes every single day. Now food, mm. we're gonna start off with seven days of cabbage soup. Now, I pick cabbage soup because of the benefits of cabbage soup. Not just thinking that you're gonna, I'm gonna help you lose some weight, although you will, but it was for the benefits of cabbage soup. Now, here are some of the benefits. Um, it helps with inflammation. Oh Lord, y'all know we got a lot of inflammation. If you're getting old, Jesus, if you're over 50, you got some inflammation somewhere. This cabbage soup is gonna help detox and get all up inside that colon honey because it's very filled with a lot of fiber it has a lot of vitamin c it improves the digestion it it helps your heart honey get some healthy heart it lowers your blood pressure lord have mercy and it's an excellent source of vitamin k and it's easy to add to any diet now when i put this uh broth together for you when you, I do not want you, well, in the videos that you'll see, you'll see all of the ways to make it. But the most important part is that I want you to know that this is your year. This is your year to uh, change everything that didn't work. This is your year to make it work for you, make you work for you. And we're gonna start with apple cider vinegar in the morning. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar with some lemon and some ginger with 16 ounces of water every morning when you're drinking it. I want you to think while it's going down your esophagus, getting into your stomach. I want you to say, oh yes indeed, everything that's up in there that's wrong is gonna get flushed out. It's gonna get flushed out. And then you're gonna have some cabbage soup. What? Mm. That cabbage soup is gonna go on up in there and it's gonna clean it out too. That is all you're gonna eat, people, for seven days, cabbage soup. You're gonna start seeing cabbage in your dreams. You're gonna think you are a cabbage. You a cabbage, I'm a cabbage too. But we're only doing it for seven days. And as we get deeper in, on day three, we're gonna add something else. Just pay attention. Go to my YouTube channel, The Gangsta Chef's Kitchen, the Gangsta Chef's Kitchen and follow me and I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Okay? So, y'all ready? Ooh, honey. Let's make some cabbage soup for the soul. Let's do it. Okay, guys. So, right now I'm going to show you the ingredients that's going to go into the cabbage broth. Um, right now we're only making the foundation. Okay? You only make the foundation and then you, we're gonna slice up our cabbage and uh, we're gonna have it ready and you put it in the uh, broth per order. Do not, people, do not, did I say do not? Do not put the cabbage in with the broth because what happens is if we're going for seven days, over those days, if you keep reheating it, that cabbage is just gonna become, it's, it's gonna be nothing, okay? So let's look at the ingredients that's gonna go in your cabbage soup. Okay guys, so here are the ingredients. Cabrini Trinity. Cabrini Trinity, that's all the peppers on the planet. Tomatoes, Roma tomatoes. Onions, I want red and white, yeah, I mean yellow onions, okay? Celery. <clears throat> Regular cabbage, this is Napa cabbage. And I wanted to show you that Napa cabbage, see how it's even wilting and it hasn't even hit the water yet? This cabbage, we're gonna use it on day three. We're doing seven days of cabbage soup, okay? Now here's the first thing you're gonna do. The first thing you're gonna do is you are going to make the broth, okay? So here is my um, chicken broth. This is about a gallon and a half of water in my gumbo pot. Now, I have not added the vegetables yet. 
okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna season the broth. So guys, this is the normal cabbage we're gonna use. You can also add red cabbage if you want. So this is the cabbage and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cut it. We're not gonna cut it with big leaves, okay? Like this, oh, just wait for it. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute how we're gonna cut it. But did I, did I tell y'all do not add it to the broth? Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is where you get the seasonings that you like and you put them in, okay? So you know I'm gonna use some garlic pepper. Now, some you guys might be saying, well Cabrini, how do you know how much to use? Well, what you do is you put it in there and let it float at the top for a minute. And then you do it to taste. So you put in not as much so that you can add. If you do too much, you can't take it back, people. If you do little, you can add, okay? Y'all know I'm using Kinder's. My Kinder's red garlic, okay? Okay, Kinder's wood fire garlic. Y'all somebody tag Kinder's, Kinder! Okay, and then I'm adding some smoky turmeric, okay? Now, get you a whisk and let's spread it around. Okay guys, y'all see this? Yes, I did add some peppers in here, some um, dried peppers. And they're just gonna give a little bit of heat, not a lot. Okay, so you see the change in color of the broth. Y'all see that? All right, so now, and I had my water boiling for at least an hour on low. And um, I put it on low so it come to a boil, okay? So, we're gonna twirl, we're gonna let that sit for a minute, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of salt, and we're gonna taste it and see if it needs more, okay? So now you got all that, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so a lot of um, the seasonings may be granulated, so you wanna go fishing. Let me just show you real quick, y'all see that? So you wanna take as much of that out, all the flavor is now in it, in the broth. Okay, so let's just go fishing. And then after you fish and you get everything out, even the peppers, because that was just adding some flavor in there, we're gonna put all our vegetables in, okay? And then when I come back, I wanna tell you something about vegetables, okay? Because it's very important to anything that you're cooking in your kitchen. Okay? Be right back. Okay, guys, so listen. After you wash your vegetables, all your peppers, um, you don't have to wash the onion, but your peppers, your celery, um, the tomato, you want to make sure you dry it. If you're not going to use it, make sure you dry it. It's already washed. You can go back and cut it. But when you cut it, like I'm not gonna use all of this. This is my pre-cut for when my broth gets down low, I can make another one, okay? So you're already ready. The key to cooking and to, the key to falling in love with yourself in your kitchen is having your prep done, honey. Because listen, the worst thing, I told y'all before, that's why sous chefs um, are so valuable in a kitchen is because they cut all that shit up, honey. You know, it's really the sous chef that makes the deal. I told y'all that before. So anyway, I'm the sous chef, I'm the chef, I'm all that up in my kitchen. And so are you. So when you do this, you wanna make sure, see these are dry and because peppers are wet vegetables anyway, they'll get a lot of moisture anyway. So you, have you ever noticed when you hand your vegetables in the refrigerator after you've cut them a couple of days later, they become moist and soggy. That's why, because if you cut them while they were wet, that's added water and all together it becomes mush, okay? So dry your vegetables, dry air fine. All right, so now we're going to add the vegetables to the broth. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so for right now, I'm using a cup of Cabrini Trinity. I'm using a cup of my onions, okay? I'm using a cup of celery. Okay, now I'm not gonna add the tomatoes until 
these peppers and the uh, vegetables get soft, okay? And I'm gonna also add um, a fourth of a cup of garlic to this. And then I'm gonna let it come together for at least 20 minutes, right? Then we're gonna taste it. And then we're gonna cut up our, ca our cabbage and we'll have some cabbage soup together. All right. Okay, hey everybody, so I'm back. The broth is doing its thing. I just want to congratulate you on taking the journey with yourself for the next 30 days. I'm taking it for me. You know, we've been through this pandemic for the last two years and you know, I think it's time to do a detox and a uh, cleansing and what better way than with a cabbage soup. So this cabbage soup that I'm making is one that my friends are just always begging me to make. And so I thought I'd share it with you. And this broth, here's the thing why I do not add my cabbage. I think I told you guys this, but this broth that you'll make, you'll find that it is a vegetable broth if you use a uh, vegetable um, stock or the vegetables that go in here will create the stock itself, right? So you have your own homemade stock. So you can use this for anything. But right now we're using it for the cabbage soup. And what you're gonna do is um, every time you're gonna have your bowl, you're gonna heat that up real hot. And then we're gonna put the cabbage at the bottom and then the heat uh, from, the, from the, uh, uh, the stock is going to cook the cabbage. So you have a cabbage soup per order, right? Oh, that's just so fat, that's gangsta. Right? So, um, I, I just want you to um, uh, really start connecting with yourself this year. I don't know how many of you have lost your way or, or you know, got really uh, caught up in this whole um, uh, being by yourself thing. Oh, but, you know, being a person that was always afraid to be by myself, I am saying to you, it's one of the most amazing things that have has happened to me in this pandemic is that I, I was forced to become one with myself, by myself, um, on this camera with you. So we're gonna make this uh, chicken soup. We're gonna do it for seven days. The first three days, let, I'm gonna tell you guys that in the next video because if y'all didn't wanna watch this long, it's a two minute video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it real quick in the next video. I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, I'm back, y'all. So, three day, seven days of cabbage soup. We're gonna do seven days of cabbage soup. We're gonna do three days of hardcore cabbage only. Uh, the, the real cabbage, the hard cabbage. This one, okay? For three days, we're doing this. On the fourth day, we're gonna add Napa cabbage and this cabbage. On the fifth day, we're gonna add bok choy and um, spinach. On the sixth day, we're gonna add cauliflower, mushrooms, and broccoli. So at that point, now we're gonna have a vegetable soup, okay? So cabbage always at the foundation, and the cabbage is gonna be cleansing that colon and getting all that muck out. And also remember, 16 ounces of water with two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and some lemon and some ginger to taste. Put it like you want it, honey. And then we're gonna do one minute of meditation every single day, adding a minute every day. I'm gonna start you off tomorrow with the first one minute meditation. And from there, you're on your own, honey, although I'm gonna be here. But at the end of the 30 days, you would have done 30 minutes of meditation with your damn self. Oh, Lord have mercy. You talk about connecting in the first month. So we are setting a foundation so that in the first month of the new year, you are anchoring yourself so you will not fall off the cliff, honey. You will not go back. They say it's 28 days that creates a habit, right? Well, to, we're gonna create a habit in 30 days, okay? Just do the work, take the time out, commit to yourself. I'm committing to mine. Ooh, Lord, it's a challenge, honey, because I have to show up for you and I gotta do what I'm telling you to do. Whew. All right. So, let's get back to the chicken soup. <laughs> it's not chicken soup, Cabrini. To the cabbage soup for our soul. Okay guys, on storage, right? Make sure you get a uh, vacuum seal, really, really tight sealed containers when you're putting it back in the refrigerator and it will also help with it not getting um, moist and mushy, okay? So, that's a little tip tip, little gangster tip. 
I mean, y'all might have already knew that. Well, you might have already known that. You might have already known that. You might have knew that. You known that. Did you know that? Did you know that? Okay, guys, so now we're going to cut cabbage. So you've cut your cabbage in fours. We're going to get this core out right here. Okay. Now, the, 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 the way you have your cabbage in your soup is your preference, okay? Some people like it like this, right? Now, here's how I'm doing mine. Oh, Jesus, I don't know if y'all can see me. Um, okay, y'all see that? I'm going like this. So I'm going to do mine kind of like spaghetti, okay? So I'm holding tight. Hold tight to your end. Crunch your fingers in and slice it, right? So that when you put your cabbage, put the broth on top of your cabbage, it won't take as long to cook. Okay, y'all see that? Okay, now remember these pieces in the middle, it's gonna take a little longer. So you might wanna pull those out, put them aside, because that's the core that runs through the uh, cabbage, okay? So that could go off to the side. All right, now, I'm about to add the tomatoes to the broth. And I wanna show you guys something, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay, so the cabbage soup. There are so many different versions of cabbage soup, but the foundation of the cabbage soup is um, the broth, tomatoes, your um, onions, and whatever else you add, and the cabbage, right? So I'm going to use fire roasted uh, Rotel. Now, oh Lord, that's gonna add some flavor. That's gonna get that tomato sauce in there. The tomato, something about the acid in the tomatoes, I do not know the science behind that, so do not ask me, but I'm gonna find out and I'm gonna post it for you, okay? Because we need to know, but because we've all just basically been like sheep and followed everybody's uh, uh, story about cabbage soup. And here's the other thing about the mind, right? Because we're talking about mind, body, and food. The mind listens to what other people have had success with and decides, okay, that's gonna be successful for me. Whether it's true or not, your mind believes it's true. So then what? It becomes true. So this cabbage soup is gonna be absolutely fabulous and we're gonna lose lots. We're gonna use how much weight you wanna lose. And that is how much weight you're gonna lose. I promise you, do the work, okay? I'm going for 10, what y'all going for? I'll be right back. Okay guys, so check it out. The vegetables in here are translucent. Do y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me get a spoon and show you, hold on. Uh, yeah. Y'all see that? Okay, so that's perfect. Now I'm gonna add my tomatoes. These are three Roma tomatoes. Make sure when you get your tomatoes that they're hard. Do not get no soft, mushy tomatoes, people. We need hard tomatoes because you need them to be firm to go in here and become soft, okay? Now, let's add the Rotel. Okay, now I'm gonna give that a toss and a twirl. And this is the broth. And I'm gonna show it to you guys in a minute. And you know, whenever you are doing your soup for the day, and by the way, here's the other part. You can eat as much as this as you want because this is basically calorie free. And um, anytime you get hungry, eat some soup. Okay, now I told you to boil some eggs and um, the only thing I'm gonna have you, I want you to, no, no, you're not doing no eggs. Actually for seven days, we're nothing but cabbage soup, okay? Cabbage soup, you're gonna have cabbage soup coming out your ears, honey, okay? We're cleansing, we're purging for seven days. You can do it, people, we can do it. Listen, I'm gonna be online with you, I'm gonna be on here right now telling you, Lord, it's hard, I wanna eat something, but we gotta do it. I'm gonna be right here with you, okay? Cabbage soup, seven days, that's it. Apple cider vinegar, ooh, we're cleaning out that colon. We're getting all the way through there, y'all. It's gonna be fabulous. 
Okay guys, so now the broth is ready. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Also, you can add carrots as well to your um, soup if you want, okay? Um, this is cilantro. Cilantro also gives it such an amazing flavor. So I'm gonna chop up this cilantro. It's already been washed. I'm going from the stem up because a lot of the flavor, believe it or not, is in the stem. Now this is also called coriander. Ha, who knew? Okay, y'all, so chop up your coriander slash uh, cilantro and you're gonna mix it in your soup. Because remember, you wanna have as many lovely flavors that are gonna make you excited to drink this, eat this for seven days. Cause I know y'all gonna be going crazy. I know you are, but guess what? We're gonna go crazy together. And you know what you're gonna find is that you're gonna start loving it because of what, how it's gonna make you feel and what it's actually doing to your body internally, okay? Now let's make some soup. Okay guys, get your bowl. Try to get a beautiful bowl, people. Get something that looks good. All right, so now I'm gonna put all my cabbage at the bottom. And again, remember I told you, try not to get the, um, the core. You want the really, really fine uh, cabbage, okay? Y'all see that? You want at least a cup, if not two cups, of cabbage, okay? Because that fiber is gonna do nice, gonna fill you right on up, make you feel good about yourself, okay? And also, remember I told you, make sure you have all this already pre-cut, because all you're doing is you're heating it and you're plating it. You're heating it and you're plating it. Then you're eating it. You heat, you plate, you eat, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, guys, let's scoop it out. Y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Okay, now, remember this is boiling hot. Y'all see that? So what it's doing now is cooking the cabbage. Now let's put some cilantro, right? A little bit of green onion. And then you say cheese. Cheese! And then we eat. Cheese! Cheese face. All right, now, let me back up. And I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so. Look at that, how beautiful. And now, oh, I want y'all to see that. The cabbage, shit, hold on. The cabbage is cooked. Do y'all see that? And look at all that loveliness in there. Okay, so now let's taste it. And again, throughout the time, you are tasting it to make sure that you have enough flavor in there, okay? So, oh my lord. tasting um, absolutely amazing so um, I'm gonna finish eating my soup but I want you to when you're eating this I want you to start working on what are you thinking about while you're eating if you eat right uh, Lord if you think right that is so key if you drink we're gonna work on that too you drink right you can't, your body can't help but feel right. If you are, it, it, all those together, your body cannot help. It, it, it is the law. It is the law. I love you. I love you so much. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow on the 6th. And uh, tell me whether or not you made your soup. Are you ready? Y'all going with me? Let's do it. Listen, if you don't come, I'm going anyway. 
I want you to come with me though. Let's get healthy, er, healthy, er, together. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.